Two Fleshy family, you know it's a boy sting a T. Two Fleshy. And we got. It's your girl Petra. <laughs> I'm nervous, guys. Yes, yeah, she's very nervous. Um, today's a little special day. You know, she's been feeling a lot of pain. It's not special. On the right hand. It's scary. Scary and special at the same time. I'm excited because I get to find out what the issues are that you're feeling on your right side of your body. You know? Yeah, so guys, I don't know, since it's been about a week now and I've been having numb numbness and tingling on the right side of my body all the way down to my feet. It's actually moved up to my neck now and my shoulders. So like, if somebody touch me, I can't feel it. If the kids touch me, if T touches me, can't feel it. My right hand, I can't use it the way I used to. Yes, yeah, so she's, I'm... Um, I went to I'm the emergency room already. Too and they did a CAT scan and there's nothing from the CAT scan. I'm not having a stroke. I haven't had a stroke, I guess. I don't know. That's but a good I, thing. The MRI is what the next step in testing is. I saw the neurologist on Monday. Today is Wednesday. Is it Wednesday or Thursday? Yeah, actually Thursday. Oh, today's Thursday. So I'm here at the imaging center where they're going to do the MRI. If y'all know what an MRI is, y'all know that machine. It's like this big and they fit you in there. And uh, I'm claustrophobic. Yeah, she's she's uh, panicking. She's panicking about that. But you know guys, um leave your two cents in the comments, you know. Uh, send my baby some love, uh, some prayers. Uh, let me know that everything's gonna be okay. So I'm trying to open my thing. I can't open it. No, no, everything's gonna be okay. So you it's got that, you're a big girl. <laughs> Yes. Woo! Ooh, Patra. <laughs> yeah, and guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already a member. Hit that notification bell so you can be updated when we post new videos. And also, share this video with your friends, you know, share it to everybody, let everybody see. If you're going through a situation like this, uh, we'd like to know what you did to recover from it um, because she's a little worried, but you know, God got us, baby. God got us. Big girl. So yeah, with your comments, put some prayers in the comments too. Mm -hmm. Spam the comments with I'm prayers. I'm about to take this pill to help with anxiety. Can you open my water bottle? Yeah, please? she's a little anxious right now. Wait, I wanna. I don't want it to wear off <laughs> when I'm in there. Mm -mm, take me pull up at any time. When it's seven, I gotta take it at seven fifteen. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It's not seven fifteen yet. Well, give it ten minutes then. We have five minutes. <laughs> So guys, we love y'all, you know, put God first. Yeah, we've been praying on her for things to be better. And I know it will be better. I'm very confident. She's very confident. She's just a little nervous. I am. Right I'm now. just a little anxious about this machine that I'm going to go lay down in. But I'm also excited because this machine could possibly tell them, mm -hmm. tell me, or tell the doctor so they could tell me what's wrong. Yes. Sometimes, guys, when your body's telling you something, you have to listen. Yeah. You can't too, too you know, relax your body. Your body's like a car. And ready for broke down, it's gonna broke down if you don't take care of it, you know? And you've been taking care of your body, it's just that I think. I've been working out. You've been working out, you've been doing a lot. And she she does a lot, honestly, you know, especially editing this video as well and these videos. So, we appreciate you, baby. She's the magician behind the work. <laughs> Premier Pro's the magician. Mm -hmm. And you abuse Premier Pro. <laughs> yeah, she she does a very good job. All right, we love y'all guys. Catch up with y'all in a little bit. So we're inside. Oh, yes we are. And they usually don't allow me down in here, but I'm starting to write like crazy. So I told baby to come in and help me fill out my paperwork. Yeah, she was having uh, medication is kicking in. So. You think so? Yes, that's the reason why you're writing like Oh, I thought it was my hand. <laughs> but I guess the medication is kicking in. We'll see. I think it's a little bit of both. Yeah, it's a combination of the medication and how my hand feels. So what did I say? Are you claustrophobic, you guys? Check your screen. Five, five, seven. He writes so neat. Okay. <laughs> okay, 
So we're doing paperwork. Yeah, I'm doing some paperwork for her, so yeah. Mm -hmm. By the time I get back, that should be chilling. <laughs> you know? You know? Let's see how much of my information this is. You know what you're doing? Of course I know what you're doing. I think I'll marry you for <laughs> Taking that off. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna take it yet, baby. Yeah. Well, let's hope she don't have to take it because she's a little scared right now. How much she is scary? She said I'm gonna have to be all the way in there. And how long are you gonna be in there? Forty-five minutes. Forty-five minutes. I left a time, nothing. Oh. She got a little key for her little. Oh, do I need it? I think you gotta hold it. Bring this to mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Just let them know that you have it on your arm. Did she say open the door? There's my pen. I got your pen. My magic pen. Oh. They gave her a special pen as well. Okay, She's gonna sit right here. Yeah, let's sit right here. Come. Did you sit right here? I think the medication is working on her right now. guys just got back from the MRI and babe's there he's eating getting ready for work hey y'all gotta put my belly before I get ready for work yeah so we just got back and I can't use my right hand to do much so let's see if I could do this and show y'all what I just made just made some celery juice so this is supposed to help with your neurological system and obviously that's I'm having some kind of issue with that I don't know what that is but just made some celery juice. I'm actually cleaning up the juicer. Babe brought me a juicer yesterday when he realized that this juicer is gonna be the key to me getting better. So this is just the trash from the celery. And it doesn't taste that bad. It doesn't taste as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It tastes like you're drinking celery without the trash. <laughs> I guess you could say it tastes like celery milk. I don't know, something might be wrong with my taste buds too. But it's not too bad. And I do feel still a little. 
Yep, still got that up there. Yeah, still got Zoe's birthday decorations. It's been a week. How long, maybe? I mean, I said Zoe, Zela. Anywho, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to move around and I don't want to just be like on in the bed, but I actually am about to take a nap because this medicine is in my system and it's working over time. So I move slow. <laughs> Maybe in my head I think I'm moving fast, but uh, I don't know. Anyways, see y'all later. Hello guys, I, sorry, my hand feels really crappy. Like I can't really hold anything. So I'm not using the camera today, but I just woke up from a nap and I called my neurologist's office and asked him, can I please get an earlier appointment? My follow-up appointment to review the results of my MRI is next week, it's a week from today. That's not gonna work because I don't feel good. Like my arm, my hand doesn't feel like itself. Like I don't know how to explain it. And the only way to find out what we need to do is to review the MRI so um, the receptionist says she'll call me back today she asked me how far I live from the office which is not that far I live 10 minutes away I mean I'll start driving over there now if she wants me to so hopefully she calls me back with good news that he can see me today I'll bring my CD or my disc over there with the results he can review it real time and if we need to do the second MRI we can schedule it now right what y'all think I think that's better than waiting a week only to be told, well, that one doesn't show any anything that's inconclusive, so now I have to do the one for my brain. So hopefully he can see me today. That way we can get to the bottom of whatever this is so we can tell y'all and possibly help somebody else. I hope nobody else is going through this because God knows it's not comfortable. When the kids touch me, I can't feel it, like my shoulders feel weird. My, all of right here feels weird. All of, all of down my whole body, it just feels weird. My fingers, I can't, I can't even open my garage. That's how horrible it feels. The garage door opener, my fingers won't press it. In my head, when I'm squeezing or pressing something, it feels like I'm doing it with this hand until whatever I'm trying to do doesn't work and that's I'm trying not to let it get to me so put y'all two cents in the comments put some prayers up for me god is good he's the healer he's gonna make sure that i'm okay and this is not gonna be something debilitating that's gonna last me forever it's gonna be fixed god's willing thank y'all for being here really appreciate it thanks for all the love and support from my family who has called me text me uh, you know, everybody who knows natural remedies, I'm drinking my celery juice in the mornings. Yes, pure celery juice. Babe bought me a juicer yesterday, so I'm going to be juicing. And I know I still have to eat because I need the fiber, the actual fiber to, you know, help me help with digestion. So, you know, I am changing the way I eat because not just because I don't know what this is. I need to lose some weight, too. So it's going to be a win win. Change the way I eat helps to heal me, help, heal, helps to heal my mind. And yeah, guys, I think the valley wore off. I'm just a little at a loss for words because I don't know what to say. Anyways, thanks y'all. Keep y'all updated. Hey, beautiful. Hey, hey. baby. Hey. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Still in some kind of pain. Really? So guys, after my last update, I actually called the doctor's office and told them that I need to talk to the doctor today because I wasn't feeling well. I mean, it's like I have to go to work tomorrow and I can't use my hand. My right hand is like, I don't know how to explain it. I can't type. I can't. I can't, I can't do my job basically. So I can't wait a week mm -hmm. to 
talk to the doctor. So I called the doctor's office, told them I need to talk to the doctor, and they actually got the doctor to call me back today and review the MRI scan. So, what did the doctor say? I, um, I guess, I don't, I don't know. He says I have multiple sclerosis, or it looks like MS. Mm -hmm. Um, he's gonna do a brain scan. The scan I did this morning was on my cervical spine, so it's my neck. Mm -hmm. So, he's gonna do a brain scan, which is gonna show him more. It's gonna basically help him connect the dots to confirm if it's MS or confirm if it's something else. Mm -hmm. But as of right now, so far it looks like MS. Looking at all of my symptoms that I have, mm -hmm. Um, I would say it is, I mean, I guess, I mean, I prefer if it's not, but yeah, it, we it is what it is. We'll keep it on the borderline, but based on what he says, looks like that's the... Babe was at work when I found out all of this, so mm -hmm. I waited till he came home, and until I calmed down, I talked to a few people, talked to my boss at work, she definitely made me feel she made me more comfortable and know that you know, she, she talked me off the ledge because mm -hmm. I was crying when I was talking to her. She would make you feel like she, she let you know that she got your back in some way. You know? Right, and we, we got this. And the doctor also told me that there's many people living with MS and you wouldn't know unless they tell you. So. Mm -hmm. yeah, they have different symptoms of it too. Yeah. Different, different way people deal with it. So. And there's been stuff going on with me that I, I just never got checked out because they were sporadic and they would happen and then they would disappear. And now this one is just here and it's the point where it's really affected my work. Mm -hmm. So it's not that easy to just be like, oh, it's no big deal. You know, like my feet have been numb or felt like I was walking on sand for like the last, I don't know, maybe two years, mm -hmm. maybe two, yeah. And I just, you know, I went to the doctor and they told me I had a vitamin deficiency and I was supposed to see a neurologist, but they're hard to get into, so thank God, the doctor that I saw, that I'm seeing now, thank God he had availability and had the ability to squeeze me in on Monday when I called him and, um, and all that allow you to get that MRI today. And yep, which led to the MRI today. Mm -hmm. And after talking to him today, which I'm glad I did that, because if I would have waited till Thursday, Thursday's what, a week from now, because today is Thursday too, mm -hmm. then I would have basically, I'd have been just, just living with this, whatever it is, I don't know if it's a disability, whatever. I'd be living with this and it would just be, I'd just be very uncomfortable or in pain, waiting. So I'm glad I called them and they told me that I can, um, I mean the doctor called me back and basically reviewed the MRI with me and now he's, I'm waiting for the scheduling department to call me mm -hmm. to schedule the brain scan. And every time I talk about that, I get scared. Yeah, you're gonna be scared. You're gonna actually have. You <laughs> the, know. It's like the anxiety feeling comes yeah. back. So. Thank God they gave you some good things to calm you down this morning. Yeah, that uh, that worked. You think that worked? Or it worked very it well. He was very giggly and funny. You should see her. Well, y'all saw her. I don't know what you should see her. You guys saw her. She was very happy. She was laughing. So was I? I mm -hmm. thought that was just me. Mm. Well, it's, it was a part of you as well, but I, could, I see the signs of it as far as how you was reacting to it. She, yeah, did, she, so she did well like a champion. God's going to get me through this. Yes, he will. Prior changes things, baby. I'm going to... I've Before being diagnosed, I was already thinking of making lifestyle changes in the way I eat, mm -hmm. etc. The way I eat, my Lots sleep, of sleep habits. I've already started exercising. So now it's just a matter of treating whatever is going on and hopefully I can become symptom free again. 
Yes, I, I strongly believe that. With, with, with the, the type of work which you're going to be doing as far as on yourself, trust me, you're going to overcome this baby. We're going to overcome this. You will go by our side. Mm -hmm. You will. I want y'all to really say some prayers to my baby for her to get well soon, you know. We all are in this together too. I need all my prayer warriors to <laughs> pray. Yes, yes, yes. Pray for me. Yeah, we love y'all. Continue supporting us. You know, you guys are gonna be with us through this whole situation with my baby. This is new for us. Mm -hmm. We don't know anybody with MS. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have to do more researches, you know, see all the, the symptoms that happen and what cure or, you know, There's anything. no cure. Like treatments. Treatments, but there's <coughs> one cure is, is God and I believe in that, so. Yep, mm -hmm. God, and he's already given us everything yeah. we need to take care of ourselves here on earth. We just mm -hmm. need to get the right remedy. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't want this to be sad. I don't want anybody to be sad. Mm -hmm. I'm not happy about it, but I'm going to live with it and we're going to have to just Figure it out and get and figure out it how together. to manage it. Mm -hmm. And that way, I'm not. You know, the doctor mentioned like possibility of using three um, treatments of steroids, but it'd be steroids by IV. Mm -hmm. That's that's gonna be interesting. It's different. Yeah, I've never. I didn't even know they do that. They come to your house and do the IV and give you steroids like that. I'm like, okay, that's different. Mm -hmm. But hopefully after doing the brain scan, it's not that serious because he's only going to do that. Depend he's going to determine that depending on the severity of what it, my brain looks like. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm excited to be right next to your side through this. That's the excitement I have about it. But I say I can't be sad. I'm sad inside internally about it. Outer part of me just, you know, say that God got us and God got you, baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Too thick and thin. Too thick and thin. I'm gonna get through this. And I bought her some nice flowers. Yeah. Uh, cheer her away from work. Yeah, there it is right there. <laughs> yeah, I bought her some flowers. So, I love you, baby. Yeah, Thank you. That was very thoughtful. On his way home, he got flowers. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I just gotta... Right now, I'm waiting to find out what the doctor is saying, but my plans are actually to give my body what it needs, which is rest, mm -hmm. nutri good nutrition, and, um, and lots of love. Mm -hmm. And, you know, walk with God. And make sure that he carries, you know, I have him by my side at all times. Yes, 24 7. And acknowledge him. Appreciate him for life, no? Yeah. Every day above ground is a good day. Absolutely. So, guys, we're not going to keep out too long, you know? Yeah, we're not going to drag this out. I'm very tired. I'm tired as well. So, we love y'all. Thank you for supporting our channel, you know? Make sure you guys. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already a member. And also um, hit the notification bell so you can be updated when we post new videos. What you want them to do, give it a what, baby? Give it a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Make sure you share with your friends. There you might know somebody who has MS. Mm -hmm. If you have MS, comment down below how y'all are living with it. Mm -hmm. If you know somebody who has it, what have you seen them go through or what have you seen them do to beat the symptoms because you mm -hmm. can't get rid of it but what have you seen them do to beat the symptoms yeah and um yeah just just share your knowledge on this so we sickness can know. so yeah. we can so i can know i'm learning right now i have no idea what this is i mean i know what it is but of course the doctor reassured me that it's not not everyone ends up in a wheelchair mm -hmm. and that's like the worst of it whenever you do see somebody in a wheelchair that it's progressed really far and um, my for my hands he said I, I will be able to get use of my hands again once he starts treating me so I'm looking forward to that and 
yeah it's really scary when you go to press the garage door opener and it doesn't press you're like why is it not opening i have to use my left hand which my left hand feels weird but not as bad as my right hand mm. um so yeah so it's not it's not a death sentence so i'm good yeah. with that um and look forward to seeing what y'all have experienced or if, what anybody you know if you know somebody who is not subscribed and they have they're familiar with this show them this video so they can help me understand what i'm going through yes most definitely yeah so we love y'all you know put god first never leave him last you know and i love you baby i'm love here for you, you. Too. yeah so we love y'all peace out to flashy family continue supporting and what we say, what we usually say, baby. We still say, baby, come on. Go again, again. And we all say, too flashy. Can't be too loud, baby. He's asleep. And I'm tired. I ain't got no strength for that. <laughs> we out. <laughs>